Welcome everyone to this exciting interview segment. Today we have the pleasure of sitting down again with Terrell Hill, star of the movie A Wesley, South African Christmas. Join us as we delve into Terrell's insights into his character and the challenges of filming this movie. Thank you for being here with us, Terrell. No, absolutely. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, I liked our last conversation too. Um, so it's very good to see you again. For me too. So can you tell us a little bit about your character in a Wesley yeah. South African Christmas? Absolutely. Yeah. So I play Todd Wesley and I've played Todd Wesley for three movies now. Uh, Wesley Christmas, the first one. Uh, a Wesley Christmas is what it was called. Uh, a Wesley Christmas Wedding was the second one. And this one is a Wesley South African Christmas. So I'm super excited to be back again with Octet Productions, as well as the rest of the cast. Um, this movie is about, um, well, if you've watched the other three, my character is pretty big in tech. He's an app developer. And um, in the first movie, he was able to sell an app that made the family relatively wealthy. Um, so going into the third one, we're picking up where that left off. And now his goal is to partner with a college roommate who lives in South Africa on a new app where we can work across the continents. And my roommate from college is super excited about it, but there's a character in her family, in his family, that's not all that excited about it. So the goal is for us to get our families to get to know each other. So my character, uh, invites my entire family from America to South Africa, and we try to bond and spend time with their family. And of course, you have the normal conflict that all movies do. Uh, but, you know, this was done in a very special way. I'm super excited, and I can't wait to see the movie. I know it's out tonight. Yeah. Uh, I know it's out now, but I mean, I, I want to just wait until tonight and watch it with my cast. Uh, but I'm I'm so excited. Third one. Um, and I'm just grateful to be back and, and, and grateful that the whole franchise has been so well received. You know what I mean? Um, very grateful. I don't want to ramble too much, but definitely grateful. Great. And uh, what do you think makes this chapter of the series of movie so special and captivating? Oh, man, there are so many reasons why it's special for personal personal reasons. I mean, I went to South Africa first time on the continent, first time on the motherland. You can't beat that, especially as a young black man in America, um, to be able to actually step on the motherland and get to embrace that. And not only just get to embrace it, but live there for almost a month, get to spend time with everybody, um, as well as see a new side of the world. I've, I've limited traveling experience. So it was very nice and very humbling, really, to be able to be there on business, but to feel like I'm surrounded by family. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, the connection between America and South Africa uh, with the cast. You know, I, I can't go on without, you know, shouting out a lot of the African cast, uh, South African cast, Jesse, uh, Mayanda, Deneo, Bohan, um, Becky, uh, Baby Seeley. Uh, or Sile, uh, my apologies, Trevor, uh, Nay was in the movie, um, and um, I don't want to mess up his name, but I think it was Aithu. Um, Just incredible people. I'm so grateful I got to connect with all of those talented, and they're really big where they're at, you know what I mean? You know, Instagram is a thing over there too, so I'm connecting with them, I'm following them. They got like half a million followers. I'm like, oh, you guys are, you guys are the ones out here. So it's very nice to, again, not only... <clears throat> work across the continents, but to be able to connect with the cast that's not only so talented, but so established. Um, it gave me a different level of not just respect for the craft and of course the art of filmmaking, uh, but just for where I'm at in my career to be able to stand next to these people. And of course, you know, you can't forget the new additions. Novi was in the project. Chaz was in the project. Um, can't forget about Judy Johnson, who plays my wife in the project. Ro, Kiki, TC, uh, Jasmine and Dorian. Um, it was just a really cool, I, I can't repeat really cool, like enough, <laughs> but it was a great experience. It was an incredible experience. Amazing. Yeah. And, uh, what can you tease about your character journey in this chapter? I think people will see a different side of Todd Wesley. I think in the first movie, not only was he very obviously the youngest sibling in the family coming home for Christmas, but he was very unsure 
of himself primarily because he didn't have necessary support in some of his entrepreneurial endeavors, though he didn't necessarily make the best decisions. And he also went through a divorce in the first movie, right? So you're looking at somebody who's in the middle of a transition period. And then by the second movie, you know, you see him get married and you see him um, step into a different level of leadership. It's almost like you saw him grow up. And now the third one, you kind of seeing him full grown. You know what I mean? I know it's only three years technically, but I went from having a, a, a little fade and no facial hair in the first film to to locks and a beard. So <laughs> you literally <laughs> grow up with Todd, um, but you know you see Todd grow up, and I would say uh, the the evolution of the character has been the most exciting part for me as an actor uh, because you know you're coming back; it's the same person, uh, but he feels different every single time. Um, so you know, I, I pray that's the case when I see the third one. Um, but I've been told by people who have already seen it that I did a good job. So fingers crossed, I feel the same. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's too late if I didn't, but you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Amazing. So what was your favorite scene or moment while filming this Ooh. chapter? What, what can I give that's not going to be a tease? I mean, obviously every time we rolled action and I looked down at my feet and saw I was standing on African soil. <laughs> that was already my favorite scene. Um, but seeing that, as you asking a more specific question, what can I say? There was a very powerful moment in the project where our entire cast was permitted permission to go and connect with a, um, and I don't want to give away any teasers. Um, I don't know if I can even say it if people don't watch it. But let's just say we we visited some very, very special land and worked with some incredible people and got to experience what, you know, is is true, authentic when you think of tribesmanship and community. Um, we got to experience that firsthand. Um, what can I actually tease that wouldn't be a giveaway, but also gives you more than that, right? <laughs> There's a really fun scene that I don't know how they chopped it up. I have no clue how they chopped it up. Um, but there's a really, really funny scene where uh, <laughs> where there's like a talent show <laughs> and we're all trying to like entertain each other and stuff like that. A uh, <laughs> lot of great moments uh, filming that. Again, I haven't seen it, uh, but I remember specifically that day we might have got in trouble a few times just for laughing so much. And it was getting late and we were taking forever. Uh, but it was a great, great, great experience. Great. Amazing. So. The last question, can you tease us something about your next projects? Mm. <laughs> what you can say without getting in trouble? <laughs> I'm trying to think, what can I say without getting in trouble? Um, I can say that I have two TV shows that I've taken part in that should be releasing within the next four months, both of them. And we shot a movie back in 2021, 2020, no, 2022, that I'm hearing is supposed to be releasing in February. I don't know how true that is, and I don't know the release dates of the other projects, um, but I'm very grateful to report that there is work that is coming within the next six months or so. Um, and the hard part for me is to sit there and actually wait six months or so. Uh, <laughs> but my hope is that people like those projects too. Uh, but, you know, I'm grateful as somebody who loves working in Christmas films and loves working with great people that I can say I add it to another notch of Christmas movies. <laughs> a lot of my friends <laughs> make me like, if Terrell's not in a Christmas movie, it don't feel like Christmas. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, like I said, that's, that's, that's a compliment in itself. Right. So um, whatever God says is next, I'm grateful for. Great. Amazing. So good luck. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. This was, this was great. Yeah, for me too. And uh, make sure, all of you, to coach our Wesley South African Christmas tonight on Bet Plus. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you all for watching. And thank you, Terrell. Bye. Thank you again. I appreciate you. Thank you.